Mike and Paul each own a large local furniture production company, whereas Tim owns a smaller one. One day, Mike and Paul decide to secretly collaborate so as to bankrupt Tim. Both are large enough players to be sitting on decent cash reserves and know that Tim isn't, so they agree to artificially lower prices to a level that isn't profitable. In other words, they are willing to lose money for a while, knowing Tim cannot possibly compete and that eventually, due to the fixed costs dimension, he will have no choice but to give up. A one-word term which describes what Mike and Paul are doing would be collusion. As this scenario kind of suggests, Collusion basically involves entities that should be competing against one another, well, not competing. Why? In our case, it's with the intention of driving a third party out of business. In other situations, it has to do with maybe, let's say, increasing profit margins through price fixing, reasons abound. How is it done? It depends. For example, by 1. Keeping prices artificially low, 2. Sharing insider information, 3. Placing orders together so as to get better prices from suppliers, the, let's say, economies of scale dimension, and so on. Is it legal? It depends on the jurisdiction. In the US, for example, collusion violates antitrust laws. In other countries, the local legislation can be more permissive, or perhaps laws exist but aren't enforced properly. Finally, what about the morality dimension? Let's just say nothing is set in stone, with a libertarian most likely being in favor of businesses having the freedom to collude if they so choose, a Keynesian probably wanting the state to intervene so as to prevent such situations, etc.